Um, it is a little chilly outside, but very warm in Cody's favorite comic book store. Cody's Caravan is there this morning, not just for the comics, but because today is also National Hot Sauce Day. Hey, Cody. National Hot Sauce Day, indeed. Uh, ben, when did you start carrying hot sauces here? God, that's oh, six years ago, maybe, before COVID. Uh, nobody yeah. else was carrying the same level that I wanted, mm -hmm. so we just decided to do it ourselves. And yeah. uh, I figured, it, worst case scenario, I just have a bunch of hot sauce for myself, and it, it just <laughs> it, it absolutely took off. It's, it's the way to do it. Though, it? So we started out with Epicene. Now, who are we talking to? We are going to be talking to Prescribed Burns, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we'll step it up a little bit for you, because uh, I know you like it hot. I, I like it hot. Okay, let me, look, permission to board. I'm coming around the back. I always like to ask, like I'm, you know, going on a ship. Uh, please introduce yourself to the folks at home. Yeah, I'm Michael Luck. And? Warren White. Very nice to meet you guys. Okay, so let's talk about your journey. You guys are really blowing up. You got a new facility that's about to open up? Yes, absolutely. Over in Rancho Cordova, uh, we've got about a 4,000 square foot building. We're going to have a full FDA cannery kitchen, full bottling line. Uh, we can do anything from uh, oil and honey all the way up to as thick as uh, chunky salsa and pasta. So, uh, yeah, and it's all going to be uh, completely, uh, uh, you know, vegetables, Vinegar, water, salt, sugar, spice. No, uh, no nuts, no protein, no dairy or anything. Everything will be electric, so we're going to be extremely efficient, uh, and then do things the uh, you know the right way and help small businesses grow. That's yeah. our biggest deal. Uh, yeah. it took us a little while to get to where we are. We know those struggles, so we're going to try to help smaller businesses uh, elevate themselves as well and try to get out there, you know, sell across state lines uh, and just really, you know, uh, show the rest of the uh, country what we've got here. Yeah, yeah, I love it, man. I love it. I just like how everybody's so collaborative. I think that's really cool. Okay, let's talk about your hot sauces, my friend. Oh, of course. My, does it uh, guarantee that I will grow another four inches because you're a tall man? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> no, no guarantee here. I cannot legally say that. But I will say, you know, we have very unique flavors. We like to explore anything and everything that we can. You know, we do mixers now. We have barbecue sauces. We really like to fire roast all of our vegetables. Mm. So that adds a nice, like, complex, you know, layer to our sauces. And we actually have some of the mixers for you guys to try today. Okay. All right. Uh, ben, are you ready I'm to ready. try? Yeah, you guys should try the Bloody Mary first. It's right there. This is it? Yep. Okay. So this is... Bloody Mary, but Bloody your Mary own mix. mix. Of course, yeah. So we have a tomato puree base with some lemon juice, some horseradish. Yes. That's delicious. Very fresh, very thick. You know, yeah. we want it to have that consistency rather than something that you're going to, you know, water your drink down even more with. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Okay, what else we got to try? On the right is going to be the michelada. The michelada? Oh, yes, this one. This oh. is our michelada mix. So this is really blowing up. Yes, People me and Mike this. are huge fans of micheladas. So this is something that we really wanted to do for the longest time. Yes, so that is going to have that really strong umami flavor with some lime juice. We have some wheat sauce in there as well. That is delicious, my friend. Okay, let's let's get the hot sauce. Oh, so the hot sauce. Uh, so the verde style is going to be the green one, of course. Okay. That is going to be Anaheim Serrano Jalapeno, all fire roasted with some onions, some apple cider vinegar mm. as well, and then hickory smoked sea salt, another one of our mm. little... Yeah. You know, oh, I, can, I can get that little hickory. Yeah, a little bit, right? It's yeah. nice. And that's actually a company from San Francisco. Oh, nice. Yeah, so another go local hot, company. Hotter. Go hotter. Right. Okay, go hotter. one go more. One. That is going to be our high pulp. It is going to be the red one. High pulp? It is our Louisiana style. Yeah, a little backstory to it. It's actually an experimental jazz group out of Seattle that we did a collaboration with. We really love to do collaborations. Uh -huh. You know, We don't want to limit ourselves to just, you know, you know, one kind of variety or one flavor. Okay, this is the hot one, though. Yes. Okay, Ben. So that is going to be cayenne, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet, and grilled pineapple. Okay. Oh, sorry. Now I gotta go over with Ben. We gotta try to read something. All right. Okay, that's all hot. <laughs> well, as the planet warms, uh -huh. mosquitoes are slow, slowly migrating upward. Like, yes, they is are. Is that north or up? Up. Temperature range where malaria-carrying mosquitoes thrive is rising in elevations. Researchers have found the evidence. Oh my goodness, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's gonna kick. I can feel the. Yeah. It's not even yeah. the hottest. It's not your hottest? No. Whoa, my goodness. That's good stuff. All right. Uh, if people want to get a hold of you, what do they need to do? Oh, yeah. You can find us at the farmers markets on Saturdays, Midtown, and then Old Town Folsom. And then we are about 50, 60 retail locations around town. And we have our website, too, prescribedburnsauces.com. You guys are killing it. You're killing it. Okay. Next up, we're gonna do Jazzy's Saucy Sauce. And it's a little different. It's not the heat, it's flavory. It's savory. It's going to be lovely. And my tongue is about to explode right now. All right, stick around. we got more in the show coming up. Don't go away.